Hello friends, welcome back to Auto Development Tutorial video. We were discussing about the computed fields and uh, default, how to set the default values for our fields. And these kind of uh, things in our last two videos. In this video, uh, we are going to discuss about the on change method. Okay. So, uh, this mechanism, uh, it provides uh, the users to a way uh, for the client interface to update a form or uh, any other field whenever a user uh, fills a data in another field. Uh, if, you are, uh, if you are confused, I will explain a little bit more with an example. Like, uh, uh, if you have two fields, okay, and uh, uh, one is called the amount and another one is called the, uh, the square of amount. So, if you put a value in that amount field, at the same, uh, when you fill that amount field, the square of the amount will be automatically updated with the uh, calculation we provide behind uh, your user interface in our python file so uh, this on change method is to trigger this computation for uh, filling the data into the square of the field so uh, basically say um, it's just a uh, mechanism or a uh, way uh, for the client interface uh, it's not happening in the server it is not the uh, say uh, it uh, it does not recur saving to the database or something like that it is just uh, happening in the client interface uh, it will update your form view it only works in form view whenever user has filled a value into a field okay without saving anything to database it will update uh, your required fields based on uh, some condition or uh, whatever the function that we put behind uh, in our user interface <clears throat> so uh, let's check the code how we can write a uh, on change function so just like the api dot depends method that we discussed uh, in our last session this to have a uh, user say decorator called api.onChange and in the bracket uh, you can see the seeds and attendees we are uh, this example is working in our open academy module and it's uh, the method is written under the open academy dot session so the seeds and attendees what it means is whenever there is a change in the seeds or attendee IDs this function will execute okay you see uh, you can see this uh, conditions if self load seeds less than zero there will be a warning message uh, it will uh, be incorrect seeds value message and the number of available seeds may not be negative and uh, uh, another condition is self load seeds less than length of self load identity ids it will uh, if the condition is true it will return another warning message so here the self is the record that uh, uh, you have opened in your form view okay and seeds uh, already we have defined that seeds the number of seeds that is available for this session and attendee id is the or uh, many to many field that related to restored partner account uh, that will contain the attendees of that session so whenever there is a change in this two fields this function will automatically execute you don't have to save that into a database uh, it will uh, execute right away when you make the changes so let's see how it will work we have two sessions here and we have 
attendees and the number of seats is already given so let's have a look at our conditions if self dot seats less than zero okay so uh, if the seat value the number of seats value is given less than zero this warning will arise let's check what happens incorrect seats value the number of available seats may not be negative you see uh, we haven't uh, clicked the save or anything nothing else we just uh, changed the control from that field to uh, out of that field then uh, it's happened and uh, another condition that we given is seats length less than length of self dot and ids so it will be not uh, it will not be negative it's uh, see this will be positive value but if the attendees that are already defined then we cannot set here we have four attendees we cannot set three okay see incorrect seats remove excess attendees so it happens in your client machine not in the server in this form view only it happens and whenever we make changes the method that we put under the, the function that we return under the api dot on change method will execute and uh, these fields are uh, specified to identify when it should be triggered uh, what are the fields that uh, uh, depends on this function okay that means uh, what are the fields that uh, causes this trigger and uh, any change that we make on the uh, self uh, that means the record uh, in these fields that uh, this uh, function will be triggered and you can make uh, many use of this uh, we can have a look at the other areas of the Odoo code for some examples Uh, in our CRM when the change uh, stage changes uh, system will uh, compute the probability we define the probability under the stages and uh, there are many examples you can see here email state phone state whatever happens optional field name compute probability different uh, probabilities and uh, user ID work order MR production company ID if the company ID changes the related warehouse and code MRP operation codes and everything should be updated that's why and there are many examples you can check you see under the production if the BOM ID changes the product quantity becomes the BOM ID dot product quantity uh, it will update the uh, B, uh, MRP production data with the BOM data whenever the BOM ID changes there are different kind of uh, examples that you can see in uh, our Odoo basic codes uh, for your references okay I hope you enjoyed the video uh, and understood the concept uh, thanks for watching please uh, please keep watching for further updates on the tutorial okay if you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odoo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to info at cybrosis.com.